Hello, in today's second interface with Sachin. Welcome Sachin again. Hi Abhishek, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you very much. I hope you are also enjoying this lockdown period and you are preparing something new for us. Yeah, certainly I'm exploring uh, Terraform nowadays and uh, how can we utilize and how can we integrate uh, within Azure. So Great. looking after those things. Right. Great. So viewers, I'm Abhishek Maitre, the host today. Uh, we have uh, recovered a particular small session last week. So this week we will uh, understand more depth of Terraform. So uh, Sajin, how do you start Terraform today? Uh, by the installation part? Yeah, uh, of course, uh, I'll start with how can we install Terraform and the relevant dependency of that. Uh, like uh, Node.js and the installation of the Azure CLI installer. After that, uh, we will be uh, try to provision something uh, through Terraform. Uh, probably uh, we'll provision resource group through Terraform. So great. And there will be there will be some commands that we utilize in order to provision a certain resource. So that all would be a part of uh, this demonstration. That's great. Uh, I believe this would be a great journey of learning right so you may start uh, with your terraform installation yeah sure thank you Abhishek. so uh, guys uh, i'm on to a screen uh, where we can download terraform you have to just open this url terraform.io downloads.html you would jump at this page yep and once you reach here then as per your operating system you have to download their own 60 either 64 bit or 32 bit installer so i do have windows 10 so i have downloaded 64 bit so as soon as i click on this it starts uh, downloading so though i have already downloaded that at my screen so let it deploy once uh, it has uh, downloaded what you have to do you have to unzip this and copy that command and just uh, go to your drives probably c drive right and i do have my terraform folder over here then you just required to keep uh, that exe into this folder right so once you once you are done with this once you are done with this uh, just uh, open let, let me open environment variables right so in order to ensure that the path is perfectly configured whatever we have downloaded so once uh, it opens right so click on environment variables and go to this place click on edit and you have to just keep the path of uh, that exe which we have just downloaded from the portal terraform portal right so once you have configured this you may also install uh, node.js right uh, the current latest uh, version of that uh, for my uh, windows installers uh, installer i have downloaded the 64 bit again once you have downloaded that open the environment variable again and just configure uh, node.js path generally it automatically uh, gets configured into path just uh, but uh, for sake of clarity uh, let's uh, verify that whether it has been installed at my place though i have installed already so here you can see uh, it is uh, pointing to the c programs file node.js right hope so far so uh, abhishek yeah yeah that's pretty clear but i have one question here is when you are downloading your terraform so uh, yeah. it is a simple single uh, application file right so can we yeah, download it on the, uh, anywhere in the uh, hard drive like c drive d drive anywhere or is it always mandatory to download it on the c drive somewhere though you can though you can keep it into d drive as well but uh, it is best practice to keep uh, into the c drive always uh, at the same okay. place where uh, right so another question could be like why the node is required for uh, for this terraform 
actually uh, it is not a mandatory but i have found uh, when i was reading uh, through various articles or th through the various uh, learning source then uh, node js uh, may be required for certain operation to perform so for for that purpose i have downloaded that right but okay. certainly uh, about the installation of the azure cli for windows i we had to download this so this is the third and uh, the required phase uh, when because you will be about to execute a certain Azure command like AZ login in order to establish a connectivity with Azure. Then uh, go to docs.microsoft.com, install Azure CLI on Windows, just download the MSI installer and install this, right? So once you have installed this, uh, we are good to go. For now, yeah. I'm canceling this because I have already downloaded that, right? Right, right. So generally, it does not take uh, more than uh, three to four minutes to download and takes almost two to three minutes to install everything. So once you have installed this, uh, jumping back to my screen, here, as you can see, uh, my main.tf, the tf extension stands for the Terraform file, right? Uh, where uh, we have segregated our file into two, areas for now right and here is our main.tf file and for now just ignore tf state and the tf state dot backup file for now so what we are about to do into this uh, we are using azure rm provider right and utilizing the version 2.2.0 right as soon as uh, we configure this so we are about to provision a resource uh, initially we are provisioning as your rm resource group right i have just uh, uh, named it uh, covid vaccine rg right and i kept uh, resource group name vaccine hyphen rg and uh, pushing it into west us too yeah so this is a uh, very uh, sorry sachin uh, the terraform template seems to be very quite similar to ARM template. Mm -hmm. Only a couple of things are uh, really different. Yes, indeed. Uh, most of the things are similar. Uh, we will cover uh, that uh, part as well. Uh, how can we uh, distinguish uh, between both of them? Uh, for now, I would say the resources are identical into both. And if I say about the variables uh, into ARM template, we call it variables, but into Terraform, we call it local variables. And there are a few more other things uh, that we will cover into the later session as well. Uh, right. But uh, my objective is to, once we have installed all these things, how can we utilize, how can we run those command, right? Yeah. P prior to running this, uh, I would like to uh, show you one thing more. Uh, here we do, we are into the extension and for my own purpose i have downloaded few extension which is very uh, helpful while you develop your application right uh, i have downloaded uh, terraform syntax heightling linting and formatting and the for the validation of hash of terraform i have downloaded azure terraform my for purpose right yeah helps uh, in such way, right? It provides you all those command, right? Uh, which maybe or which we will be utilizing while we provision a resource. Right. Yep. So uh, going back to my main screen, main.tf file, right? Uh, this is what I have installed. I'm going to a new terminal. Allow me a moment. Yeah, I'm here. I have opened a new terminal where I'll be executing few commands. Right. The initial one to configure everything, we just make it initialization. So it configures and downloads the provider, which we have mentioned over here. And it downloads the specific version, whatever you have mentioned into this. So as you can see, uh, initializing the provider plugins, if I scroll a bit, towards upside, right? So initializing the backend, initializing the provider plugins, Terraform has been installed successfully. Makes sense so far? Yeah. 
Yep. And moving ahead, uh, Terraf Terraform uh, provides uh, one of the prominent feature like uh, it ensures pri prior to deploying everything, it has a it has one command which is Terraform plan, which advises you that this is what you are about to provision. And this feature, as far as I know, it doesn't uh, exist into Azure native capabilities, which is uh, ARM template. So once you have executed and uh, you are about to just uh, uh, everything you, you have uh, initiated. But Terraform provides uh, one of the, I would say a middle path, right? Which, ensure, which ensures you that uh, this is what we are about to provision for you, right? Great. And Great. which is, which is uh, one of the, I would say, key factor of Terraform because uh, you would get a entire claims so this is what i am about to provision somehow if you find uh, this need to be updated or there can be a chance of any scope improvement that we can think about that's right? great that's great so as soon as as soon as uh, you uh, execute this command terraform plan if you notice that uh, it has taken a lock right it uh, locks everything, right? It does not uh, allow another user to work on to the same file, right? Until the things get sorted out. So refreshing Terraform state in memory plan, the refresh state will be used to calculate this plan, but will not be persisted to local or remote state. About the remote state storage uh, into the future session, we will be covering this as well, but uh, let it execute. It should not take more than um, two minutes. Generally, it does not take uh, too much time. Yeah. So meantime, it is initializing. So yeah. uh, what uh, we are going to plan for the future uh, sessions for Terraform? Yes, uh, after this session, uh, Either we will be covering uh, the diff how can we differentiate from Azure ARM template uh, to Terraform uh, variables, scope, and the other relevant things, right? Or uh, we can cover how can we uh, create a variables and how can we utilize those variables into our main.tf or main file, right? So uh, this is uh, into the up upcoming uh, article. Probably I'll okay. try to publish it uh, this week. Uh, but later on, uh, we'll be covering Terraform state. How can we install uh, virtual network, the sub network or other things? So we would get a better understanding of how does it work. Okay. Great. So coming back, coming back to the screen, as you can see uh, that after running Terraform plan, uh, we are here and the Terraform will perform, which advising you somewhere, Terraform will perform the following action, the resource Azure RM resource group, COVID vaccine RG. Uh, it would have a specific ID, which is not yet decided and known, uh, we'll get to know after uh, we will provision finally. The another one, it will be provisioned with invest US and the name will be this, right? So another, uh, it is summarizing plan one, one to add, zero to change, and zero to destroy, right? So once we have configured this, uh, you can you can configure, uh, you can connect, uh, est connect, establish a connection with your Azure uh, portal and through the AZ login command. So it should prompt us uh, for a, It, it generally asks you right uh, your credential in order to proceed further. Yeah. So I have choose my own personal account. So you have logged into Microsoft Azure. Moving ahead. So like as you can see, uh, we have configured everything successfully. Now the time is to execute or apply everything whatever we have seen so far so terraform apply commands lets you to provision everything whatever you have written into your main.tf file so uh, in a couple of uh, minutes we should be able to see uh, our azure resource group which is terraform resource right and we have given a name of covid vaccine rg right and it should have a name vaccine RG. 
and must exist within West US. West US yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me jump to my portal. I'm on my. So, so the first step is now. to plan, and second step is to apply. The first step is initialization of uh, environment uh, with yeah, Terraform okay. init. The another one you can either run through easy login in order to establish a connection with Azure and later Terraform plan. And uh, once you have seen uh, this is what uh, our code, which are whatever we have written uh, will provide or will provision something for you. And after that Terraform apply. Great. Yeah. So it is taking time. In the meantime, let me jump into my resource groups. So as you can see, it is not yet arrived here. Let me confirm it. It is still executing. So once it is successfully done, it would uh, give some sort of message here as well. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. So it pro the beauty of Terraform, uh, it provides you very uh, uh, easiest to understand textual format. Like uh, Terraform will perform the following action. Again, it is advising you somewhere, right? So this is uh, Terraform will provision for you mm -hmm. and asking you, do you want to perform this action? Yes, we are here to do this. Right. So and once they, I they have also, uh, they also have clearly mentioned only yes will be accepted to approve. Yeah. Uh, so uh, somewhere, uh, though I'm a big fan of uh, I'm template as well. But when I started working upon Terraform, uh, it provides you uh, more easiest way to configure everything. As you can see, uh, uh, it is very easy structure to understand the resource you are provisioning, what resource you want to provision. What should be a name of that? And these are those attributor properties, right? Hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. It is still configuring. Generally, uh, what I have seen, uh, it does not take too much time to provision your resource. But uh, it is taking time. It may probably depends on the network you are working upon. Maybe yes. Uh, nowadays, due to the COVID situation, uh, the latency has been, uh, okay. I, I have seen latency into network, though I have a very good uh, broadband speed as well. Yeah, bingo. perfect. Uh, so it has, yeah, bingo. Uh, the apply complete, one resources has been added. Let me verify it. I'm again into my resource group and it should uh, persist here, right? Yeah, as you can see, Vaccine RZ has been created into our resource group. So this is our objective for today. And I'm over, uh, able to open that, right? So far, no resource group is, uh, no resources into this uh, resource group for now, but uh, we'll be covering those things as well. Great. So today's purpose was to how to uh, install Terraform, how to install your other components, which are supportive components of Terraform. And another uh, thing is how to create your resource group at least. Yeah, resource group through uh, and how can we uh, utilize those commands which Terraform uh, provides uh, us to utilize. Great. Uh, great, Sajin. Thanks uh, for your valuable time. And in fact, we could start uh, at least Terraform, we have moved at least one or two steps forward. So thank you yeah. again. And in the next, uh, whenever the, we will uh, plan it, uh, next uh, delivery, yeah. we'll uh, design something new on the Terraform. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks, thank Ajin. you, Vishay. See you, thank see you, you. soon. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.